Hi, Nick here. In this video, I want to give you an objective understanding of the wave equation of quantum mechanics. To do this, I am going to use an image of something that we all have an objective picture of. I am going to use the image of a man pushing a box in the x direction. Now, if we want to know where the box is at a given time, we need something called the position function. And the position function is a function that tells you what is the future of x. All you will need is to input the time, and you will know where your box is at that time. It gives you the future position of the box. The equation that describes the motion of this process is Newton's second law that says that the force is equal to the mass of the box into the second derivative of the position, meaning that if your box is moving, there must be a force, and this force is equal to the change of speed, or the second change in position into the mass. This description of the motion is a differential equation. If you solve this differential equation, you will get a position function that will give you the future of the system, or in other words, the future position of the box at a given moment in time. Now, if we look at Schrodinger's equation, we find it is based on the same rules as Newton's second law in the classical system. The only difference is, instead of representing a box, the system is a subatomic particle, say a photon-electron interaction, that behaves like a wave particle. It has a wave particle nature, and the equation that describes this behavior is called the Schrodinger wave equation. And solving this equation gives us information on the future of this wave particle duality. Just like our box in classical physics, with the future position of the box represented by the position function, in quantum mechanics, the future is represented by the quantum wave particle function, or probability function. This great similarity between classical physics and quantum mechanics is not an accident. It is because the ever-changing world of our everyday life that we represent with classical physics is based on the probabilistic nature of quantum mechanics. In this theory, the mathematics of quantum mechanics represents the physics of time as a geometrical process of energy exchange. With the classical physics of Newton's differential equations representing processes over a period of time. If you think about it, isn't it logical that if the future is continuously unfolding relative to the atoms of the periodic table, then if we look down at the individual atoms, all we would see is the uncertainty that our everyday life is based upon. The square of probability of finding the electron is the same uncertainty we have with any future event at the smallest scale of the process that we see and feel as the passage of time. I explain this in much greater detail in my other videos. Any questions or ideas you may have, please place them below. I will answer them the best I can. Thanks for watching. Please sub and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.